So let me give you a Miami market update on what's currently happening and what we are seeing, right? Because we're a team of 20 on the ground doing this every single day. And what we are seeing is the um, those bidding wars that were going on several months ago have slowed down. Um, not to say that there aren't still multiple offers. Um, there are, but people aren't really, aren't paying the 20, 50, 100 grand unless the property is priced like really, what I would say, a lot lower than market value or we're seeing that big gain. But if the property is priced correctly, we're seeing it go for asking price, if not, you know, five, 10, 15 grand max above. Um, we are seeing on the listing side a lot less offers than what we were before. Um, and then buyers, some buyers have gotten priced out of this market as the interest rates went up and prices went up. They just can't afford the same property anymore. So we are seeing those people are going to have to rent. Um, rent demand is still high. Uh, we're still getting multiple offers on rentals. We're still getting above asking offers in rentals. So I will tell you the rental market is very, um, it's still moving um, and still has a lot of demand. And then I do will tell you what we are seeing is um, certain areas of Miami are uh, what are a little bit more in demand than others. Overall, the city in a whole is still in a seller's market. Uh, just you know, two three months of inventory is what we're seeing in certain zip codes. That's still a seller's market. Uh, a normal flat market, healthy market is six months. Um, but we're slowly getting there. It was two months. It was one two months. Now it's two three months. I think we'll slowly start seeing four and five, which is good. It, it was needed um, because it just went up way too fast, too quick. So I do think overall we're heading into a normal balanced market, which um, is good.